Okay, it's our so first stopover, first day of having a motorbike rental. You know you're in the place when you see a lot of uh, Pasulubong area or gift centers. So just 100, just come back here if you decide to, to swim. Isang regular, isang... Ah, isang, isang adult. To all? Ah, isa lang PWT para sa akin entrance lang at swimming, swimming additional fee. 175, sir. Just again. Kunti lang din. So by the way, in Bohol, we're part of the Visayas region. So you know how to speak Visaya. That's even better because everyone here speaks Visaya, and of course Tagalog. But their main language is Visaya. I can see the weather starting to get a little gray, but hopefully it stays dry. Are we meant to even go here? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think right now we're so lucky because there aren't that much cars, but I imagine when this place gets really full like during the weekends, yeah, you think? Yeah, it's with me. I imagine if this place is really full, this whole parking lot will get really full, but right now we're gonna go off the beaten path. Hinagdanan. Oh wait, are you sure this is the way? It says Baby Resort. Um, actually, let's ask. Uh, that's that's why my my uh, driver wanted to park sometimes. Lobby, we should have parked the motorbike there. It's free. I know. I'm just saying. I learned that from my my uh, my motorbike rider. If you're gonna park your vehicle, don't park it around this area because this area is privately owned and they will charge you to park it all the way at the back. Okay. So, oh, I think right now we're pretty lucky. As I've mentioned, there's not that much tourists. Not too sir. No sugar, no milk. Pineapple or four seasons. See you up to the cave. If you feel thirsty, I'm excellent. Fresh mango juice. Very, very, it's tempting, huh, to have some mango shake. You know, down in cave. Here we are. Hello, hi. Good afternoon. Yes, ayan. Nakaya na. Pipicture mo na daw. Was I Apple? Should I have not joined that photo? Oh. <laughs> only one name? Uh, copy WD. Yeah. Only one name? Oh, your name. Okay. Welcome to the... Ah, oh, this is it actually. So they've actually made it look very touristy by creating a cave-like structure with cement. Uh, a, Although, I know cement is not very environmental, but I guess it helps with the tourist attraction. Um, that's kind of what happens a lot of the times when you go around these touristy places in the Philippines or when you enjoy uh, when you enjoy the natural nature, they tend to make it overly, they tend to overdevelop it, so hence creating steps and railways. We're just traveling around the UK with Eddie. It's untouched. Nature is untouched, which I quite like. Okay, okay. you first. Okay, 
Okay, what are the rules? No bringing of food, no touching of stalactites and stalagmites. No urinating. Oh, no locals. Uh, it's funny because when Eddie and I were uh, visiting this other cave, it said no dating inside the cave. Remember that? <laughs> Right, ooh, for a well, Eddie's about five eight, so watch your head here. Watch your step. No food and drinks, and no smoking. Standard, obviously, don't smoke here. But the uh, dun dun dun. dun. Actually, I'm not even that tall, but I have to watch my head. Oh my goodness! Yeah, it's very very developed for sure. Okay, ready? One two. <laughs> Definitely, definitely develop. It almost feels like a, a spa of some sort, huh? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, it's pretty, for sure. Great place to bring you Yeah. It's pretty anyway. So let's walk forward. Ready? One, two. Sir, you have to Sorry, but you can Sorry. Uh, sorry, it's done. It's okay, man. Okay. okay. <laughs> Oops. Hold on tight to the rail. So lots of picture taking here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, again, it's very developed because you can see a lot of cement pathways. <laughs> and you also want your Instagram photo taken? No, my Instagram has got schedule. I've got <laughs> Okay. Alright, so it's pretty here. So clear. I might just dive in myself for a while. Hello. Uh, live versus free. Okay. Baka. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. So Eddie is, I don't know, he's like a gecko. He can just climb. So he, from here, he went all the way there. Was it easy? Yeah, it's easy. You can do it. Um, there's a nice uh, sunlight hole there. Um, I'm kind of stuck here at the moment. But uh, yeah, if you look up there. Okay, Don't really see that much bats. I'm sure there used to be a lot more bats here, but um, the view of the cave is nice here. Are you you're gonna go swimming, right? Yeah, he's gonna go swimming in a while. I'm just waiting for my kasama. I'm just waiting for my kasama. <laughs> Bobby, say hi. <laughs> so Eddie says you actually get pythons or sea snakes. Sea snakes? Are they sea snakes or just regular snakes? I don't know. I don't know. So Eddie was saying that whenever, wherever there are bats, potentially you can also get snakes in. Um, yeah, I mean it's such a beautiful place here, and it's very disturbed by mankind. So I really don't think maybe the snakes don't like our noise. But right now Eddie's the only person. <laughs> Love you. Looks so good there. Eddie's the only person actually in there, and I'm constantly being gypped by. Uh, by water and maybe a mixture of bad poo, bad shit. <laughs> um, and you can tell that everyone's having their photo shoot here. This is literally like a photo shoot cave or cueva because everyone here just takes pictures left and right. Um, I'm looking forward to flying the drone. Um, so how much is the entrance fee? It's 50 pesos per person per adult, and it's 75 pesos additional if you want to go if you want to go swimming. If you want to go swimming, so I guess majority of the people pay 50 plus 75 pesos. Um, I didn't pay for it just because it's the time of it's the time of the month for me. Huh? What? It's human nature, and so yeah, I just don't fancy having to change and all that. But yeah, I don't mind go, going swimming here. Very very beautiful. And again, I guess we're so lucky now because I heard that this place can get really really jam packed. Okay. Okay. So I'll see you in the water. I'll tell Eddie to actually get the GoPro. Okay. Well, that's us done. I didn't go in the water, but I'm sweating. As you can see, all my oh, it's very humid there. But because seeing all the water, it didn't feel very humid. But if that makes sense, I am really starting to feel a little bit warm. But you can see this narrow bit of stairs. You really have to watch. Oh, I just saw a bat fly in. Uh, you really have to watch your head because um. Yep. 
especially if you're tall, if you're six footer, you really want to make sure to keep your head down. But alas, we are back out here. So, yep, and that's it. Oh.